Welcome to Top Solid Mold. In this video, we are going to show you how to create parting lines using our automated parting line function. From there, we will show you how to create all of the parting surfaces quickly and efficiently. And finally, we will show you how to manage your parting elements and check for errors prior to the core and cavity creation. Okay, from here what we want to do is we want to start creating our parting lines. So I'm going to go to my parting line function. And here I'm going to ask Top Solid Mold to select and show me every possible parting line for this part. So after a few seconds, you're going to see those possible suggested parting lines show up as yellow curves. From here, we just simply have to select the curves we want to use. So here I'm going to start on the outside and select that. In this case, Top Solid Mold automatically determined that it can go all the way around the part. There were no other decisions to make, so we selected that one 100% for you. From here, we'll say New Parting Line. And I'm going to say turn off extend, reposition myself, and just select all of those in there because they're all the same. I'll say new parting line again. Maybe we'll flip ourselves to the inside here. And I'm going to select in there, new parting line again. And I didn't point this out before, but every time you create a parting line, when it's closed, the software comes up and tells you the parting line is closed. It's important that we have airtight parting lines in order for our split process to work later on. So from here, now we have one more parting line to do, and that's going to be here. Now notice here that there was no suggested parting line. Well, that's because this parting line was buried within the wall thickness of the part, and frankly, Top Solid couldn't see it. So you still have to be a little bit of a mold designer, but that's no problem. We can just say new parting line, edge, we'll say auto path, select it, and like that, we have our final parting line. Now we can flip this back over, and we can quit and go on to creating parting surfaces. Now to start with, I'm going to start with external parting surfaces. Now, everybody always likes to see automation, so I'm going to start with everyone's favorite function, automatic, and go ahead and select this. And like that, the software automatically creates an external parting surface. And it's okay. I don't think it's the best, so I'm going to undo, as well I'd like to show you other parting surface tools anyway. So here I'm going to start with simple extruded. I would like to extrude from this to this, out this way. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And notice, by the way, I'm not worried about what plane I'm in, what coordinate system I'm working on. The reason for this is that top solid mold knows I'm making parting surfaces, so we know we need to extrude away from the part. From here, I'm going to create some simple flat surfaces, right? So I'm going to say I'd like to create a flat surface from that curve to that curve. I'm going to add a couple more curve segments in the Y negative and Y positive, and like that, we have a simple flat surface. I'll add one more over here. Again, Y minus, and this time X positive just defining some vectors here. We have our surface, and why not duplicate that over? So if I go into here, go to duplicated, and just mirror about XZ, like that, my external parting surface is complete. So from here, we can start creating internal parting surfaces. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to say flat parting surface, right there, as well, right here. And notice, by the way, when I did that internal one, it did them all at once, and that's because I had group selected them before. So we'll quit out of there, and we'll create another internal surface. Now here we have some multi-surface shutoffs to do. So I'm going to zoom up so I can see what I'm working on, and I'll start with a simple ruled surface from here to here, and how about here to here. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and add a flat surface based on a new contour, and basically I'm going to create a profile on the fly. So I want a profile around that, that, that edge, that, back to there. And like that, we have our parting surface. And finally, we can go ahead and just duplicate this. Now, I'm not sure about the spacing here, so you know what? I'm just going to try to cheat. I want to go from that point to that point as a total distance. Total number is 3. And I'll select that surface, that surface, and that surface. And like that now, all of our parting surfaces are complete. Finally, what I'd like to do is quit out of parting surface creation. And then I'm going to go to... Uh, manage my parting surfaces, and basically just run a quick test. I want to make sure that Top Solid Mold sees all my parting surfaces. So I'm going to start maybe by changing colors, maybe red, maybe go to thicker line style, why not, and say show boundary edges. In this case, you can see that Top Solid Mold automatically has detected all of my parting surfaces. For example, what are we looking at? Well, right here we see a thick red curve on the inside profile of my main external parting surface and a thick red curve on the outside. Well, if I saw a thick curve going between these two faces, that would mean there's a problem there. A gap, a duplicate, what have you, it's not airtight, go back and fix it. 
So from here, I can say, I'm done. Doesn't matter. So like that, we're now ready to create our core and cavity splits. Thank you for watching this video to learn more about top solid mold. Just to review, in this video, you learned about adding parting lines both automatically and manually, how to add parting surfaces again both automatically and manually, and finally, how to manage parting elements and check your parting surfaces for holes. If you would like to learn more about Top Solid Mold, please visit our website at www.clear-cut.com or call today to speak with a sales associate at 630-889-8055. Again, thank you for your interest in Top Solid Mold.